You're watching WatchGuard Security Week in Review, a video security podcast dedicated to quickly summarizing the biggest information and network security stories each week. I'm your host, Corey, and this is the episode for April 9th, 2012. The big news all through this week was a carryover from last week. Everyone was still talking about Flashback, that big piece of Mac malware that infected up to 600,000 users. Well, this week, security experts continue to talk about this since it is one of the biggest pieces of Mac malware ever found. They all commented on how we've told you that Mac uh, computers aren't any more secure than Windows computers. They were just less used. So if you're a Mac user, remember you should add security. One other important update to this story, too, is this week on Thursday, Apple released yet another Java update. I believe they call it uh, Java for OS X Lion Update 2002003. Now, this update doesn't actually fix any Java vulnerabilities, but instead it does two things. One, it will scan your computer trying to find flashback infections, and if it finds one, it will remove it. And two, it also makes the Java web plugin disable automatic execution of Java applets. This means when you go to a website, Java won't uh, automatically execute, which could prevent drive-by download attacks. Uh, So if you're worried about future Java-based vulnerabilities on your Mac computer, you should definitely go get that update. Another big story was Microsoft Patch Day, followed by many other different vendor patches. For this month's Patch Day, Microsoft released six security bulletins, uh, fixing 11 vulnerabilities in products like Internet Explorer, Windows, Office, and many server packages like SQL Server, Commerce Server, and BizTalk Server. The two big updates uh, were, one, the IE Cumulative Patch. This fixed many vulnerabilities that bad guys could use for drive-by download attacks and also an Office update which fixed flaws in a Windows component called Common Controls that affected many different packages including Office, SQL Server, and many other servers. If you haven't applied Microsoft's updates, you should definitely do so. On top of that, a number of other vendors share the same patch day as Microsoft, including Adobe. Uh, For Adobe's patch day, uh, they released a Reader and Acrobat update that fixed many vulnerabilities in this Reader uh, PDF document viewing application. Uh, Basically, uh, all these vulnerabilities had to do with how Reader parses PDF documents. And if you download and view the uh, malicious PDF document, an attacker could exploit these flaws to take over your computer. Uh, This update also disables Flash and Reader. recommend you go get it. Finally, the Samba team released a very important Samba update this week. Uh, Samba is an alternate implementation of Windows's SMB protocol. This is the protocol Windows uses for file and print sharing. Uh, Well, Samba is used in Unix-like systems, like Linux systems and BSD systems, to go to Windows file shares. Apparently, Samba suffered from a very serious vulnerability in how it handled RPC calls. If an unauthenticated remote uh, bad guy could send uh, network traffic to one of your uh, Unix-like machines running Samba, he could exploit this vulnerability to gain full root privileges on your machine. The good news is most firewalls like our XTM appliances block SMB traffic by default, yet this is a very serious vulnerability, so if you manage any Unix-like systems, you should definitely upgrade Samba. There were a couple interesting stories this week related to malware news. The first was researchers finding a new variant of Zeus. Now, Zeus is a banking trojan that connects you to a botnet. Uh, The attackers use it to steal banking credentials. This week, researchers found a variant of Zeus that actually specifically tried to target banking credentials used by a cloud-based payroll provider. Uh, These are people that allow uh, organizations to pay their employees using some sort of cloud accounting service. Uh, Well, this new variant of Zeus actually targeted the specific Canadian payroll service and tried to steal those credentials, obviously so the attacker could steal even greater sums of money from victims. Trend Micro also blogged about another interesting piece of malware this week called Trojan Ransom ADB. This is a piece of ransomware, a piece of malware that's designed to do something bad to your computer, and then the attacker tries to extort you for him to recover your computer. What was interesting about this particular new Trojan is it actually infects your computer's master boot record. Uh, This is a hard drive uh, boot record that helps your computer boot its OS. Uh, So this Trojan would infect your master boot record, and it would prevent 
prevent you from booting Windows successfully. Instead, you'd get a message that if you want your computer to boot again, you have to uh, send money to a particular account and then enter a code. If you're worried about protecting yourself against this malware, two quick tips. First, make sure to patch your computer, your operating system, and all the programs. This will prevent uh, attackers from leveraging vulnerabilities that might push malware on your computer. Second, be sure to use up-to-date antivirus software, both on your computer and at your gateway or the perimeter of your network. Uh, this software should be able to detect many of the different malware variants out there and prevent them from infecting you. That's it for this episode. As usual, if you're interested in more security stories more regularly, be sure to check me out on Twitter. I'm at SecAdept. And you can also check out our blog, WatchGuard Security Center, for very regular security content. Thanks for watching. And at WatchGuard, we're rooting for you.